Now, tonight's start is a rich, sumptuous haraka bean soup with tiger prawns. Now, these beans have been soaked overnight in water. And what that does, it actually softens the bean and makes them cook a lot quicker. In with the bacon, onion and carrot. And once you brought it to the boil quickly, cook out for about 25 to 30 minutes. Now, tiger prawns has its own built-in cooking gauge. When they're raw, they're grey. When they're cooked, they're nice and pink. We cook the prawns for 30 seconds in boiling water and vegetables. We call that a court bouillon. Now, prawns are the perfect choice for a seafood beginner because they're nice and sweet, slightly meaty and so easy to cook. We peel them from the shell when they're warm because it's a lot easier when they're warm. Get the tail and push with your finger and thumb and the whole thing just pops out. Once the beans have been drained of its stock, just take a couple of handfuls out because that's going to be in with the prawns and the mushrooms at the bottom of the soup. The rest of the beans into the mixer. A couple of ladles of bean puree into the pan. We add our chicken stock and bring it up to the boil. Once we start to boil it, we're going to add a touch of cream. Now that's come to the boil, for the exciting part is where we start to froth the soup and make it really nice and light. It's a bit of a chef's thing. You don't have to froth it up, but it's just a way of making it a little bit lighter. And if you don't have a stick mix, then just serve it as a normal white bean soup. Nothing wrong with it whatsoever. That's it. OK, take your ladle out, give it a little buzz. Kerry, give it a little blitz. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. come on, <laughs> me. Now, tonight in the kitchen, my three commie chefs are Phil, Russell and Kerry. They've already survived one round in the F-word kitchen, and whoever stays tonight will come back to battle it out for a job in one of my restaurants. OK, why are we making two pounds? I want three portions. Yep. The soup's made to order. You've got... Four portions there, he's got four portions. Why don't you do the garnish? Yeah. Yeah, and you do the soup. But no one's talking. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. And you're just making no <laughs> sense whatsoever. So yeah. talk to one another. Yeah. Check the seasoning, please. Taste it, Kerry, come on. And Ange, set the garnish up here, Ange, so we can start soaking it. Uh, yes, Gordon. Yeah? Wait. Yeah, that's nice. After this table. Yes, Gordon. The garnish for the soup are the tiger prawns. Along with the tiger prawns, we've got these little Japanese samuji mushrooms. And we're just going to saute the mushrooms off. Get your cloth on the front here. That's it. OK. Get some colour on the mushrooms first before you put the prawns in. Now, we're using a Japanese mushroom, but to be quite frank, any mushroom will work lovely with this. 30 seconds for the prawns. Get your beans. Put your beans in with the prawns. And there we have a really nice garnish. Right, now they've soaked off the garnish, yeah? Just yeah. season it with some fresh parsley. Yes, yeah, go on. Yeah. Can we put it in no, the no, just listen to me. me. Shut up and just listen, that's all. If you listen, you're going to do well, but... Fresh parsley, then. From there, over to the bowl. Let's go. OK. Take your garnish and be generous with the garnish. Your prawns, your beans and your mushrooms into the plate. No, just three portions. Come on, Kerry, please. Wake Good up. Just, just three, three portions. One, two, three. You're on your fourth oh, bowl. Sorry. Sorry, go on. So you take half the froth and half the soup and you pour it gently over the garnish, yeah? And then you go back to the beginning yeah. and put a little bit more froth on there. Can you just concentrate for me? Yeah. Yeah, and try to wake up a little bit. It'll make life a lot easier for you, the customers and me, yes? Yeah. Good girl. It's not difficult, you know that. I know.